Hey everyone, how you doing today? I'm back out at the, my favorite place, uh, which is the storage unit. Got my boat out here and a few other things. But today, I have to change out the prop on my Minn Kota Edge 45 trolling motor. So, I finally got my prop in. I had to order it from Cabela's. That's it right there. And it's the uh, Minn Kota Weedless Wedge MKP-6. Fits a three and a quarter inch uh, motor diameter. If you have an Edge 45, that is what you want. So I'm gonna change this out. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and go from there. Have a better look at the old prop there. It's gotten banged up and nicked and scuffed. And I'm gonna start off with a half inch socket. This is what fits this particular unit, I think. The nuts on the uh, bigger motors are 9 16 but this one is half inch. So I start by removing these pieces. Got the nut and the washer, if I can get this out. There we go. And on the ground it goes. I'm back. Had to chase my washer. So I'm going to peel that off. Well, that doesn't look very nice now, does it? <laughs> so you can find anything in here and look at what I just found is that not a disaster and they tell you to pull these things off and check them every season and I have got a whack of braided fishing line well this cannot be good maybe that's why it's been running like crap anyways let me see about getting this stuff out and this is why they tell you to pull the uh, prop off and look every year right there see what a mess. This is a lot of line. I don't remember losing this much line off of any of my stuff. Anyways, let's cut some of this stuff off. Take it out. Well, that's just regular fishing line, that is. When you get into stuff like this getting wound up inside, you can uh, damage the seal. And then that way you're going to screw your, your unit up. There's a lot of things I didn't know. It's a learning experience just for me too. So, well, I'm almost there. Oh my God, it was like spaghetti in here. There we go. She's clean now. Okay, there's the uh, there's the instructions, and you can see it's got a new pin and washer. The nut's different. This was on the old one with the uh, the washer, and this one comes with. It looks to be a plastic nut in one of these <clears throat> so and they tell you here um, basically what to do with it it's pretty straightforward uh, if you look at the the size difference just between the two now this is the correct one for this motor so we'll try it uh, try it out you can see the the two and this is the weedless wedge, and I've heard a lot of good things about it from the reviews I've read. So I'm hoping that this performs like what I'm hearing. All right, <clears throat> I do take a punch out to, to get that pin out. As you can see, it is a little bit bent. So sustained a little bit of damage even on the pin so it's out i'll put a brand new one in i was having a hard time moving it out so i just basically grabbed a hole punch and a small hammer and just gave it a couple of couple of wax to get it loose and now i got a fancy schmancy new uh, pin here well look at that is that not special slides right in like that beautifully now one thing i forgot to mention make sure you disconnect your battery and unplug your motor that way you don't have to worry about this thing taking off on you while you're uh while you're doing this very important okay here's the uh the new prop you can see there's a groove that runs in behind there get this into the light so you can see it that groove needs to line up with that pin all right 
and I'm going to assume I'm looking at these these lines here on the inside as well lines up with the groove that's on the back side make sure that's nice and straight line that up and then just slide it in there we go perfect and now I'll put the other pieces on as I showed you before it comes with that lock washer and that nut so now let's put this back on so you just slide that over the shaft there and then this should just screw on Okay, so they tell you to get it snug. So then they say turn the nut quarter past snug. That feels about a quarter past snug to me, which is number wise 25 to 35 inch pounds according to their specs. So that feels pretty good to me. I don't think I could put it on any tighter. So now I'm going to put the motor down and then give this a try and see how it works. Okay, time to give it a test. Let's see how she goes. Oh, look at that. That is not sweet or what? I can't wait to use it. All right, it is functioning. Job is relatively easy minus uh, trying to get that pin out. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, I'm gonna give this a shot. I think with taking all that uh, fishing line out behind, I, I think it's gonna make a big difference now. Um, so check your trolling motors regularly because uh, they recommend that. <laughs> and that's something I can be faulted for considering I'm going into my third season and I never looked in behind it. So, And I think some of that line was on there for a while. In case you're looking to replace the, uh, the old prop uh, instead of putting a weedless wedge on, you want to go back to just a, a regular prop. Uh, the model number on that is MKP-2, and that's for the regular prop. Uh, the weedless wedge one is MKP-6, and I got to write these things down because I don't remember them. So, but anyways, I'm going to keep this as a spare with uh, the parts as well, just in case I run into a problem where I damage that one. Uh, people have said that the new weedless wedge is a pretty good prop. They find that it operates really well. It gives them a little more power, it seems, uh, over the original. So I'm going to see if this actually works out. Uh, hope to get back out really soon and uh, see how this works and let you know. Take care.